What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Cameron, and happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. Hope you guys are being safe if you went out tonight. But if you did it and you're at home watching this video, what's going on, man? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, in today's gameplay, we're talking about Call of Duty 2021 and how it has been confirmed, and there's no if, ands, or buts about it. It is coming out for sure. And in the, in the gameplay, in the background, you're going to see some PPSH on Yamantau. Yamantau is a pretty good map. Definitely one of the better maps in the game. And guys, I misspoke, man. The PPSH is pretty gnarly. I've had some pretty good games with it when I've been using it. And it's a pretty good gun. It's a lot of fun to use. Its recoil is not too bad. Just slap on, like, something that controls the recoil and you're big chilling. It shoots hella fast. So you do need the drum mag or definitely something that increases the magazine capacity but that's besides the point let's talk about the meat and potatoes of today's video guys so guys call of duty world war ii vanguard or call of duty 2021 has been set to release on schedule with a war zone integration and basically all the stuff that we have learned to expect from call of duty and here's my opinion on that i don't like it um According to a lot of the leakers, uh, World War II Vanguard is set to be a disaster. Um, bugs everywhere, um, just not a complete game, a complete mess. And Activision is saying, oh no, those people are wrong, man. The game is fine. It's going to be big chilling. Don't worry about it. And dude, I do not believe a word out of Activision's mouth. I believe the leakers like, you know, Modern Warzone and the MW2 OG or those kind of people, the long sensation over Activision. They've been right about a lot of stuff regarding Call of Duty and leaks and everything. So I definitely am going to side with them. I think this game is going to be a disaster. It's going to be even more broken, even more glitchy than Cold War was at launch. And if you guys recall, Cold War was a fucking shit show. All right. This game, Cold War, was unplayable at launch. It was legitimately unplayable. Uh, there's bugs everywhere. No content. Um, you know, there's still bugs everywhere and still barely any content. And I don't know if I could do a year or two of that because I guarantee World War II Vanguard will be a hundred times worse than Cold War was with the bugs and the glitches and the silly bullshit that should not be in a AAA game. I guarantee it will be a hundred times worse than that. Sledgehammer is rushed. They didn't have enough time to make this game. Uh, they just have an entire brand new staff. And I kind of feel for them because they're in a really bad position. And it's kind of not really their fault that they're releasing a broken mess of a game. Like these developers, man, they don't want to release these shit games. They have to, man. They have to. Activision's the one like, yo, we got to push this out. It must happen right now. Like it's ridiculous man <laughs> and supposedly we're getting um a reveal trailer coming soon supposedly i highly doubt that i do not think we're going to get a reveal trail trailer anytime soon i just don't you know have any hope for this game i really don't um cold war really broke my spirits man it really did i was very very excited for cold war if you go back you'll see my videos um, before Cold War uh, dropped, I was very, very excited. I was like, yes, we're getting a new Call of Duty. Call of Duty's gonna be back, man. I was in that COD cycle, bro. I was in that COD cycle. I was like, we're finally gonna get Call of Duty. Treyarch's gonna save us, man. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be good. And look what we got. A very, very average game with insane skill-based matchmaking. And that's going to be fucking Call of Duty World War II Vanguard for sure. It's gonna be a very, very below average game. Barely any maps, probably horrible maps because Sledgehammer doesn't really make the best maps anyways. We could see from the launch maps of Cold War, which were Sledgehammer maps, that the maps leave a lot to be desired. Even COD, even COD World War II had some very, very dicey maps to say the least. Um, some of them were okay, but a lot of them were like very, very forgettable or kind of dog shit. So I don't know, man. I really hope they don't force this game out there. Like, I'm okay with playing Cold War and Modern Warfare and Warzone for another year and just them working on that because Warzone's even a mess right now. It is a buggy, glitchy mess. And if you're going to add another game, integrate another game into that, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse, right? They're just making the wound bigger with all these freaking games and integrations and stuff. Like, it's only making everything worse. It's really not making anything better at all. 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on over there at Activision, man. I just don't know why they, you know, pushing for this game to come out. Like, nobody's clamoring for it. Nobody cares about Cold War. Look at the fucking Twitch numbers for Cold War. There's like 5,000 people watching it. Most people are just watching Warzone, and they don't really care. As long as they get new guns and new battle passes and skins and operators and all that stuff for Warzone, they could care less about this game. And that's on God. They could care less about it. They really could give a rat's ass about World War II Vanguard, right? Sure, it sounds cool. I like the World War II idea, but I just don't want a half-ass pile of shit again. I really don't. I think if Activision lets these developers have ample development time, you know, they let them do their thing, iron out all the bugs and all that stuff, it'll be chilling. And even, I'll be okay if you re- release a remaster next year. Just release a remaster, like World at War remaster or something like that. I'll be okay with that. I don't think it'll be very good. I think it'll be garbage with uh, skill-based matchmaking all over the place and hella sweaty, but it's better than honestly throwing out a half-baked pile of shit. It's honestly much, much better than that. Uh, It's just kind of disappointing, man. I used to really like this franchise. I used to ride or die for this franchise. Call of Duty was like my game. I played every single Call of Duty since Call of Duty Finest Hour, bro. I'm a five-star brigadier general when it comes to this Call of Duty shit, bro. I've been here for a long-ass time. And to see this franchise take this big of a left turn into garbage land, into shitsville, it's just very, very disappointing to say the least, man. Oh, my goodness. I really have no hope for Call of Duty 2021, whatever it will be, Vanguard, Advanced Warfare 2. Hell, we don't even know the name yet, which is kind of weird as well. Most people are saying World War II, so I'm going to kind of go with it. But shit, dude, they could come out of left field and do some crazy shit. Hopefully, it's not some space action because, honestly, I don't know how that would integrate into Warzone with, like, futuristic weapons and everything. But I don't know. I digress. That all being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is your boy Cameron. Thank you all for watching. I am out.